Hey, 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 it is your girl Jamie Drew with the girlfriendexperience.org. And I am here to cook a little bit of breakfast. I am hungry. You can tell I've already washed my hands because they're quite ashy, baby. Um, but I'm gonna make me some avocado toast. Let me get the bread. I'm gonna make me some avocado toast. I'm gonna make some potatoes and I'm gonna make a little sausage. So I'm gonna start by cutting up these two red potatoes and I'm gonna cut them up pretty small. Let me preheat the oven too. Um, the oven, preheat the oven. Start the stove, preheat the stove. <laughs> 365 brands olive oil just a little bit of evoo okay a couple of tablespoons in there that's probably like ah, tablespoon tablespoon and a half you experts let me know what it is but i'm gonna cut up this potato pretty small uh just because i want it to cook quickly you know potatoes if they're too thick you know you gotta cook them for for quite some time or at least put a um, cover on your on your pot. But right now I'm gonna keep an open pan as I'm sort of sauteing them. So I'm going to make them pretty thin here. So I'm just cutting in half and then cutting in half again. They call that quartering. <laughs> And I call it cutting in half and cutting in half again. But anyway, as you can see, I'm making these thin, thin, thin little slices. And if you're wondering what that noise in the background, then you must be new to my channel. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And also don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you can be notified every single time I upload a video. But, um, the noise in the background is my lovely birds chirping, chirping, chirping. They're either happy or mad. <laughs> no, they're pretty happy right now. After I feed myself, I'm gonna go ahead and feed them. But these are my potatoes right now, so I'm just gonna go ahead and stick them in the oil. And I know it's not preheated yet, but we're gonna get to that. All right, get me something to stir these things up with. I'll just use this spoon. And I just wanna make sure that they're coated in the oil now as it heats up because this oil coating is gonna help them cook better, have more flavor, and also to, um, take on the seasoning, help the seasoning stick. All right, so turn that up a little bit. All right, I am going to use some salt. This is iodized sea salt, okay. I'm also going to use some organic rosemary, all right. Now I like to use the big opening for this rosemary because the chunks are pretty big and uh, you need them to come out. I wish there was some other way to open it really, really big or take this thing off. But yeah, rosemary potatoes are the bomb. Okay, then we're gonna add some thyme and that's gonna be really savory. Shake it, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake your booty. Shake your booty. All right. So these are just organic baby red potatoes. Organic is the way to go. You know, the best quality food is gonna produce the best quality individual, right? That's right. Keep your mind sharp, keep your health intact, 
keep everything flowing like it should okay now I know some people are hesitant about having potatoes all the time but it's really what you put on the potatoes so if you're putting too much oil or too much butter or using animal fats or something like that then it's going to be a lot more unhealthy um and for those people that are worried about the carbs well you just don't eat a lot of the potatoes because carbs are going to be your energy source right so your body needs to use that as fuel to burn off all right so you don't want these potatoes sitting around so if you're going to eat potatoes it's really best to have them burn off throughout the day so i typically prefer to eat potatoes earlier in the day so that i have more time to burn them off all right not only that but i also like to incorporate greens as much as possible so I've got some organic baby spinach here. It's already been washed. So I'm going to take this and I'm gonna chop it up a little bit. Okay, I'll save that little bit for a sandwich later. I'm gonna chop up this spinach and combine it with my potatoes. Now you're not really gonna taste it, so it's not necessarily for flavor, it's really for nutrients, okay? And if you're not a person that likes to taste greens, you know, you don't like the taste of greens, you think they're nasty, you think they're bitter, you know, I eat kale salads a lot, some people can't handle that taste. So if you can't handle that, then I definitely suggest spinach and broccoli so all you're gonna do is cut that up just a little bit and it's gonna wilt down even farther when you put it in the pan okay so just add it in I like to try to add greens to every meal that helps me to feel like I'm doing a good job with what I'm eating and you see those potatoes are already cooking up well. They're already starting to get some brown on them. So at this point, the pan is getting a little dry. Now this is the point where I wanna add my frozen items because that's gonna give it a little more wet. I'm gonna do some organic mushrooms. These are mixed. These are white, cremony, portobello, and shiitake. All mixed together. I got this from Whole Foods. You see it's Whole Foods 365 brand. Now I'm gonna put some mushrooms in there. Okay, really trying to work on balancing my meal out here. All right, and let's put this back in the freezer. Before I put this back in the freezer, I'm gonna go ahead and work with the rest of my frozen items. I've got these Beyond Meat breakfast sausages, which I absolutely love. And I'm just gonna do one and put that on sort of a lower heat temperature with a little teeny splash of oil just to get that warmed up. You don't need much. Okay, so I'm gonna make sure the oil gets under that and on top of that. And we're gonna put this other sausage back in the freezer. If you'd like to know, this has no soy, no gluten, and no GMOs. I know a lot of people are concerned about those things. Okay, and I also have a three pepper and onion blend. So we got red peppers, yellow peppers, green peppers, and some onions that we're gonna put in here as well. Now, since we added those watery frozen vegetables, I know it's going to take out some of the flavor. So I'm gonna go back in and re-season just a little bit, okay? Let's get these things back in the freezer and back in the fridge.
Let's give this a stir. And now you don't feel so bad about eating potatoes, do you? Because <laughs> you've got it incorporated with some really good, healthy things. All right, so I did say we were gonna go back in and re-season just a little bit. A little salt. For more time. And some more rosemary, if we can get this out. There we go. All right, put these back in the cabinet. Stir that up. Now, if you don't want to use olive oil, you can use vegan butter in this. Okay? I like to use um, Earth Balance. And they've got different kinds. Okay, let's go ahead and let that cook up. Our sausage isn't warmed yet, so let's work on something else. Let me go and get a fork and a spoon here. All right, three things you need to make avocado uh, paste or avocado mash. A knife, a spoon, and a fork. <laughs> and I'll show you why here in just a sec. Now, got my avocado. As you can see, my thumbprint is already in it because I did my test. Like, okay, how ripe is this? That's how I decided which one I was going to eat. All right, so I'm cutting around the edges here. Okay. Okay. And then I just give it a little twist, and there we go. I'm gonna take the spoon, and I'm gonna scoop it out into the bowl. Then we're gonna take the knife and just move this seed. You just roll it a little bit, and it comes right out. Okay. And put the second piece in there. Now this is where the fork comes in because you're going to want to mash it. I decided I wanted to use some organic garlic powder. Some cayenne pepper. And some Old Bay seasoning for those of you who aren't familiar. The main ingredient is celery salt here. You've got some red pepper and black pepper in it as well. All right, it looks like our sausage needs to be flipped. It's looking like a real sausage, you guys. Uh-oh, potatoes are sticking to the bottom. That's looking pretty done. Let's go ahead and put this on low. Okay. As a matter of fact, we can take a little bit of this oil from this sausage and wet it back up. And that's going to add a little flavor too. As a matter of fact, we can cut that off. Cut it off, <laughs> turn it off. I also wanna put a little bit of olive oil inside of my avocado mash, just a little bit. Just to give it that little bit of extra oomph. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna go with, uh, that's a small avocado. I think I might go with one piece of toast for that. This is Ezekiel bread. It's a flourless bread. That's why I love it so, so much. You can find that almost anywhere. Walmart, Whole Foods. I get a bunch of them and I freeze them. And then I take it out and put it in the fridge. 
So I'm just mashing up this avocado. You can make it guacamole style, like you can add tomatoes and onions to this if you want. But when I'm doing my avocado toast, I just like to have the seasoning um, and the oil and that's it. So let's put these back. We're waiting on our toast. Oh, let's have a little drink. Aha, some sparkling water. Mm-hmm. All right. Looks like our sausage is ready. We can turn that off. Let's get a plate. Because our toast will be out soon. And we're gonna go ahead and start plating this up. Move my water out of the way. And now we've got a nice breakfast that we feel good about. You know, I feel really good that there's spinach in here, there's mushrooms in here. My son's oatmeal bowl. But I feel really good about what I'm eating right now. Now I've got my little sausage. Okay. And now we are just waiting on that toast. Let's continue to clean up after ourselves. Clean up now so that there's no mess later, baby. All right, and I just heard the toast pop up. All right. We're gonna spread our avocado mash on here. And I think I made a really good choice by getting the one slice of toast. All right. Let's make sure we get all of this yummy goodness out of here. I need a spoon, huh? <laughs> you gotta get the last of it. Waste not, want not, right? We're trying to live sustainably. Okay, there we go. So that's looking really good, you guys. We got our potatoes and vegetables. We got our little piece of sausage, some avocado toast, and that's gonna be really good. I also, let's see if I've got, um, I know I had some everything bagel seasoning in here. I don't know what I, what I did with it. So maybe we won't have that today. But at one point I had some everything bagel seasoning. You guys, I really wanted that right now. Is this it? Yes, I found it. I just want to give it a little bit more kick. This has garlic, onion, sesame seeds, and poppy seeds. And that's all there is in it. And you don't have to worry about, oh my gosh, is this too much? Because we didn't put much in the beginning. And we're just putting a sprinkle on the top. So that really adds a nice flair to it to have those seeds and you can you can put this on your potatoes if you like okay so that is it you guys i hope you have enjoyed this cooking session and if you eat this meal please let me know how it came out or if you have any questions please let me know those as well until next time peace and blessings love you guys